Hey, this is Mike with First Updates Now. We're here in the pits on the Curie Division at the Detroit Championship with Theory 6, 12:41, uh, fresh off their Ontario Provincial Championship win a couple weekends ago. We're here with Jay and Angad. We're going to talk about a couple of different things on your robot here. So, Angad, lead us off with kind of your ball passer and how you use that on your robot. Yeah. So the most special part of our robot, it is an overly like uh, conceptually complex. So we just wanted to go with like a nice versatile scoring machine that could do uh, game pieces quickly. A big part of that for us is how fast we can pick up balls from the opposite side and score on the rocket ship. So you want to show it? <laughs> Running the wrong way. <laughs> All right. All right, a little bit jittery there, but uh, that's 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 one of the biggest biggest parts of our usual cycling routine because that entire sequence is automated from entry to exit. So we, we just want we just wanted to make it so that objects on the outside coming in and on the inside coming out are controlled by the driver, but any movement within the robot is entirely up to the robot because it's a repeated sequence. Don't want to add complexity to the driver's routine. Very cool, very unique. Then Jay, I'm going to pass it over to you, and uh, you're going to talk about your hatch intake. So our hatch mechanism here, we'll just take the ball out. So you see here, the way it works is that there's two fingers here for the actual hatch mechanism. So they open up like this for the hatch. So you can put it in. And then this entire tray over here comes out. Oh, sorry. The reason we do that is because the cargo ship has the bumper cutout and the rocket doesn't. We want this hatch mechanism to come straight up to flush to the rocket ship. And the way it works is that these claws will open up. And if we have two ejector pistons over here and here, just to center the disc as it goes onto the cargo ship and the rocket. So you can see it eject here. And the way we have it is that it's all automated. So once it ejects, the tray and everything will come back in. So the driver doesn't have to worry about that. So uh, an amazing season so far for 1241 here again in the Curie Division. Uh, looking to make a deep run here. Uh, congratulations, guys, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.